Welcome back and uh, keeping our conversation on whether or not uh, we should have state police. We've got uh, Dr. Emmanuel Odoa, former governor of Delta State. Thank you for coming on this morning. Good to see you again. Thank you very much. Well, you've been an advocate of this since 2013, uh, as far as I can remember. But there are people who still have challenges, saying, uh, look, if you have state police the way some are asking for it now, we just will have problems. How do you think it can work if we were to have it? Uh, I don't know what you mean by the way some people are asking for it now, but the truth is, first of all, let us agree on the principle of state police. And okay. uh, why was I advocating for it? First, we are talking about federation. People talk of true federation, false federation. For me, we either have federation or we don't have it. And when we are talking of federation, the federal government must shed some weight in certain areas. And one of them is security, and specifically the issue of police. Fragment of shared weight in education, in health, and all that, and the security. Now, why was I advocating for state police, ap apart from the issue of the federation, is that having managed a lot of security issues in Delta, there are two classes of security. One in which you require the federal might, in terms of the army, the police, the Air Force, the Navy. Yeah, you require the federal might. But there are some other security challenges that you don't need the federal government to be able to deal with it. And the only way you can deal with it is by having a force as a governor that you have relative control over. And you tell them to do this. They don't need to refer to Abuja to obtain permission to be able to do it. And that is why um, I was advocating for a state police. Now, I know that if we had state police, you know, um, over the years, a lot of this security challenges we are having now would have either been very minimal or not there at all. Right. But these security challenges, uh, they, they, they got worse uh, because the management method is not, or the management challenges, okay. is not in full control by the governor. Part of what I w was uh, trying to say is that when I said the way some are advocating, but we also do have questions of abuse where they say, yes, some cases they may go right, but they also think largely if they were to have state police, the governors will be like thing gods. They will control the police, they will oppress political opponents, they will stifle people. It's only people who they want to be in police that will be in police largely. How do we deal with that? You don't, you don't need a, a police to oppress people. I'm telling you that from governor. From no. I've been a governor. If I want to oppress you now, I don't need police to come and oppress you. <laughs> there are so many ways I can oppress you without involving the police. You know, so it, it's and nobody uses the police to oppress anybody. I, I'm telling you. <laughs> but but would that can I, happen? I, I, I've never no governor will tell. But isn't that a legitimate fear? No no no, it's not legitimate. No governor will tell a uh, uh, policeman, oh, come to channel and arrest Chamberlain without you having committed an offense. Because I want, I want, I want, I want Even to. Even if it's a Trump top offense, no matter if it's Trump, I mean, if it's Trump top offense, you you will shout. Yeah, you but shout I mean, that this, this, this is social media. It's difficult to say, okay, you want to oppress somebody, you know, for 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 that to be to to to, to be possible, there's usually there must have been a, a, an underlying offense that you committed. You know, nobody, nobody would just come and say, oh, come and arrest Chambali when you've not committed an offense. Even though that doesn't <laughs> argue, but let, let, let's go to Abuja. I know that Mark Bay had done a lot about police, but our jury's got a question uh, for you on this one. Our jury, go ahead. Yes, Mr. Duaga, I just want to ask you, you know, you seem pretty adamant that uh, the issue of state police doesn't really come with any threats. Now, no, 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 you sorry. You governed uh, Delta let, State let me, for eight years. Let me correct. Uh, a state that has many uh, different ethnic groups. Now, when when you hear some of the uh, uh, those who oppose state police, for example, they cite, well, look, if you have a governor that's from a minority tribe or a majority tribe, he could potentially employ uh, members of his tribe to the detriment of other tribes to perhaps consolidate power in during his term and, and thereafter. You say that the police wouldn't go after individuals on trumped up charges, for example, but what about electioneering? Now if, if you say a governor wants, if a governor doesn't need a police to oppress people, he could use thugs, but if he uses thugs, it's unofficial, and then law enforcement can come against that. But if you use law enforcement, it's very difficult to counter. What are your thoughts on that? 
Okay, first, let me correct the impression. Uh, I haven't said there'll be no challenges with state police. What I'm saying is that before we even start it at all, we've looked at all the challenges. How do we manage the challenges? We'll look at them and define details we can work out. You know, but it's the principle that I, I, I've talked about. Now, when you talk about election, uh, uh, governor using police for election, first of all, for you to be able to oppress people with police in an election, you have to be popular. If you, if you rig an election and you're not popular, there's usually uh, be an uprising. It has happened in Nigeria before. We have the uh, Mugiro World type of uh, election. Um, of course, the man won, but he could not sit on that place, even without the police. So, and secondly, if actually you need police, uh, if you have control of the police, then you can, you can win election. If Jonathan had declared himself winner of the last election, he had all the police, he had all the army and all that. If he had declared himself winner of the last, last election, of course the reaction, even in Lagos here, all of the way people were to just think about, about the election in Lagos, if he had declared himself the, the, the winner of the election, the kind of uprising that we would have had with all the police involved, uh, today we would not have been able to, to, to manage the uprising. So if, if, even if you have the police and you are not popular, and use it for election. People, people have become very conscious of a lot of things that right now you cannot just get up and be a teen god anywhere. You, you meet a lot of challenges. And that is the way this country um, 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 uh, has developed. You know? So uh, back to, to, to my, my brother in Abuja. Yes, um, there Rwanda, are challenges with the police. Because uh, I'm very curious, when you look at some of the current uh, situations that are unfolding in the country today, where you have state governors openly opposing the federal government over various issues bordering on uh, criminality, bordering on uh, allegations of ethnic conspiracy, etc. If you put a state police force in the hands of such governors, for example, could it not be a concern to Nigerians that you would have uh, an armed battle, potentially, between uh, an, an ethnically motivated state police force ver versus a federal police force? No, let me tell you, the, 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 of course, as far as I, I can remember, the governors that are challenging the federal government, they are telling the federal government, look, there, there's a, is a security situation in my, in my state, and you are not acting fast enough. It's not as if they have a police that we are challenging. Say, please, come and do. Please, come and, come and act. Come and act. That's what they are telling the federal government. Come and act. Don't stay in Abuja and while uh, we are having security challenges. If they had their own security outfit, they would deal with the problem. They don't need to call on Abuja. I think those, those are, that is the thing that, that is happening in, in, um, in Nigeria today. Uh, let, 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 let me tell you my... my, my if they have their own security outfit, they will need to call on Abuja. But they have their own internally generated revenues, and they still go to Abuja cap in hand to collect revenue. Yeah. So how do you... Those are the, that is the federation. If we go into that, that is the federation I'm talking about. And a lot police, of things is wrong with our federation. But even the police is also part of the federation. So we should shed some, including the police, including the, 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 the uh, fund collection. I mean, the... Uh, fund sharing. Uh, fund sharing. <laughs> if we want to go into details, education, why should... Federal government be involved in primary education. Why should federal government be involved in primary health care? There are many issues about this federation. We are talking controls. about security now.